lost that kick to it. Ah! Mmm. That's ah, some savory stew right there. Come in, come in! <laughs> Old Matus home is yours. Mi casa e su casa. As my ma used to say, at least I think that's what it means. So, what brings you up here? Come to chat? Come to trade? Well, sure. <laughs> Just an old mother living out the end of the world, huh? And this old helio, he, helio, hel, helio catopter makes a mighty good sniper's nest for any dead wood what come waltzing by. This is my lonely at times. But that makes the occasional visitor all the sweeter. <laughs> Listen to me talking your ear off already. I got a million stories, but I'm sure you're here for a reason. So, what's your deal? What do you need, friend? Watch yourself, huh? A lot of dead wood out there. <sighs> Back again. What don't I got's a better question? Ah, uh, let's see. What would a youngin' like you? I used to lead the mud dogs, I tell you that. They were my gang for nigh on 60 years. Back at Sanctuary, we were called the Crazy Eight. <laughs> we went places no one else would. Found the best ground Sanctuary ever saw. Good times. Good times. Root ran scared of us, they did. I reckon we killed more dead wood in our day than old Ford himself. Most of Brabus's young mutters don't know the crazy ain't no more. But that's their legacy. Sure is sure. I can tell you more if you're up for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. Ah. Moved to Sanctuary when I was ten. Huh. Ma liked it. Safe, steady food. A couple of guys would come around and teach me things. It was a good life. For Sanctuary. Ma told me about movies, hmm? Folks sitting around staring at old boxes what told them stories. Wasn't until Sanctuary. I actually saw one. Uh-huh. They'd spin a ribbon round some wheels and bam! Walking, talking people on the wall. Craziest thing I ever seen in my long life. Of course, that was back when I was just a kip. Doubt you could find one now. I can tell you more if you're up for it. Okay. Hmm. Brabus and I ain't spoken in a long while. He's a good leader. He is. But we don't see eye to eye on much. My ma used to say, do to others as you do to you. Or something like that. I don't remember the exact words. Brabus don't see that, though. He thinks the Deadwood done devoured all kindness from the world. Oh, he ain't wrong. But I figure there ain't no point in living in a world like that. So, I came out of here. You've probably got folks to get back to now, yeah? Well, sure. Ma used to tell me about the old world. This place was called the Usa, and it was huge stretch from one ocean to other. <laughs> this place were filled with people, more of them than was fit for counting, all working together, huh? Making the world a better place. Why, they had people on the moon. They had talking animals. They had water what could heal you just by looking at it. I reckon you don't believe me. No one does. But the world was a damn paradise afford the Deadwood King. You've probably got folks to get back to now, yeah? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. Ah. Ace and Les, huh? You met those scroungers yet? <laughs> Almost as crazy as a crazy eight, those two. <laughs> I hear they took up in Ward 13 now. Reckon it won't last long. Those two, <laughs> they got trust issues. Don't hear me wrong, friendly folk, helpful in a pinch, and more likely to find food than a hundred Fords. 
but that's just it, ain't it? I bet if and you dig hard enough, you'd find a stash the rest of the ward knows nothing about. I can tell you more if you're up for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. Ah. Before the mud dogs were the mud dogs, we were the crazy eight. The best goddamn scroungers you ever seen. We scavenged everywhere, saw everything. Uh, uh, working aerial planes, dead wood big as the sky, and uh, 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 in the rusted places. We saw things there you'd never believe. Old carvings, giant crystals, all kinds of weapons. And dead wood. Dead wood everywhere. Corbin once saw a kip sleeping behind a locked door, breathing with machines. Mm-hmm. No one believes that part. But it's true. <laughs> I tell you, it's true. I ain't putting you to sleep now, am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. I tell you how I got my name yet? Yeah? No? Maybe another time. About this, uh, uh, Helio Calop here, though. I saw this old bird in flight, believe it or not. I was four. Damn thing just returned from a trip to the moon. Deadwood took her down, of course. Snipers on the rooftops. Don't know what they hit, but she came down like a damn meteor. That's a big rock that falls from the sky, if you didn't know. Saw the whole thing I did. Never thought I'd be living in her after, though. Ha! <laughs> ah, look at me. You were probably out looking for scrounge. I should let you go. All right. You read much? I read everything I can get my hands on. The bell jar, Dune, Catch 2 2. Something. About a guy called Malcolm X. Oh, 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 there's this one I keep coming back to. The, 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 the eater not, e eater not, e doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's about these aliens, what kill everyone who live. Uh-huh, it's got, uh, insect aliens. It's got human aliens. It's got giant building-sized aliens. It's even got aliens what control the other aliens. Oh, <laughs> oh. I reckon the writer thought he was spinning fiction, but I'll be goddamned if it ain't the most real thing I ever read. <laughs> uh huh. Now, uh, listen, you've been real kind to me. Listen to me ramble on and on like I've been. It's been a long time since anyone stuck around to talk to this old mutter, so I, uh, I got something I'd like for you to have. This was my wife's. I'd planned on giving it to my boy, but well... <laughs> Maybe it's time to give up on him coming around, huh? Ain't no time left in this world to wait on true family. I reckon you're close enough. Take care of it. Sure, sure. Now, anything else I can do for you? Take care, young'un. Don't be a stranger. Pull up a pot! <laughs> Take care, young'un. Don't be a stranger. Hey, Helio Clopter. Here we go, round. Hey, Helio Clopter. Oh, this looks good. Oh, look at this. This is my Helio Clopter. Oh, that still looks good. Look at that. Oh, just like I like it. This is going to be good. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday to you. That was written by Mildred Patty Hill. Here you go, my mom would tell me that story about happy birthday. And, and, and then she'd sing it to me, and I'd say, Happy birthday right back to you, Mom. Bubble, bubble, little stew. Oh, I can't wait till I'm eating you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Catch 
two four. That's cheaper by the dozen. Now that's just that's just science. That's just science. They should have known. 